Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, let's have a little chat about immortality or let's say longevity. Um, the topic is how long do you live? Um, how long do you want to live? Well, of course, everyone would want to live as long as possible, right? Um, but in reality, what we see is, you know, most people, you know, it's like 70, 80, you know, 80, you know, 80 something is pretty much it. So what interests me, because I'm approaching, well, I'm 68 and, uh, you know, 70 is just around the corner and you look, wow, you know, I looked how the last 70 years went by. That's pretty fast. Um, so, you know, 70 to 80, that's going to go pretty fast, too. And uh, how do I feel about that? Well, based on my philosophy, my trip, um, I'm okay with that. You know, I, I guess the question that I pose to myself is uh, if uh, in, a, in, in a moment uh, it was time to go, it's just like knock, knock, hello, time to go, uh, how would I feel about that? Um, I've asked myself that question a few times and I felt that um, I'm okay. I can go now. I had a good life and it was full and uh, that was a nice ride and uh, yeah you know and if going means going into oblivion where there's nothing and that's it psh, game over um, yeah I can do that now I have a friend who um, I kind of posed that same question to he's, he's a guy a little bit older than myself and I and he said oh no 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 I have a lot of other things I need to do. I have a lot of, um, uh, you know, projects that I'm working on and, you know, I can't go right now. So there's that, you know, there's that. And, um, yeah, I can see that. So to me, it's a very interesting question to pose to myself. And it's a question I would also pose to uh, anybody um, is, you know, what you feel is, you know, at, at the moment now, the mark in your life on your timeline right now is like if you had to uh, check out, you know, how would you feel about that? Um, yeah, it's an interesting uh, question. It's just about existence. And I think there are some people, uh, probably a lot of people, who would say, well, I don't think about those things. You know, I just go day by day, and, you know, whatever may come will come. And, yeah, that's a good way to, of doing it. But I like to push myself in a way to think about, um, you know, uh, it's kind of the, uh, the idea of the here and now where, you feel fulfilled in the here and now. And therefore, if it was all to vanish, uh, you know, do you feel at peace with that? So yeah, um, how, how are you feeling? <laughs> are you okay with your mortality? Because I guarantee you, you know, there, you know, you, People can die at any age, but then you get up to 70, and then by then you're probably going to live a little bit longer. Then by 80, you know, things start like, yeah, unless you're a millionaire with super medical care, uh, things are, are going to start kind of like dropping off. And then we hear the stories, you know, there, there are those who get up in their 90s, comedians, by the way, a lot of them get up to, to there. But then uh, centenarians, I mean, those are pretty few. And if you look at videos of centenarians, uh, you know, things are definitely starting to fall apart with, in terms of, you know, the body. And uh, beyond 100 years, I mean, you know, probably not too many. So I think realistically we could look at, you know, 
uh, most of us uh, that live a fairly healthy life uh, are going to see 80, you know, 80 something maybe. Uh, and uh, in what condition would be questionable. Uh, so, uh, yeah, these topics are very, this topic is very interesting to me, you know, how do I feel about that? Especially as, you know, I'm, I'm 68, uh, which means, well, I'm over 68, so that means I'm close to 70. And I say, wow, you know, the last 60 something years has gone by in a flash. And obviously the next, whatever, 70 to 80 is gonna go by in, you know, eight times the flash. So uh, uh, coming to terms with that and, and, you know, being realistic about it, I think is very valuable. You know, I think one of the thoughts that I have is that, you know, uh, when you're younger, you think, well, I can do, I'll be able to do this and I'll be able to do that. And, you know, all these dreams you have, but then you know, you get up there to like 70 and then you realize, well, you know, now there's a limitation, you know, uh, even if, um, even in the best of situations, you know, there's only so much that I, at this point, can accomplish and so therefore I should choose wisely what I want to do. And uh, so, yeah, this is a little, a little video playing with, um, my new, uh, I have a Blue Yeti mic, very fun, and using OBS Studio and uh, addressing the question of mortality and, um, you know, how do we kind of integrate those thoughts into our daily life if it influences that in that way. Uh, and like I said, you know, this may be something that people just say, well, I, I, don't, I don't even think about it. <laughs> I do. I definitely do. And uh, to be honest, um, I'm okay with it. You know, like if the rug was going to be pulled out from under me tomorrow, uh, I would have no regrets. I had a righteous, up to this point, a righteous life and a very fulfilling life. And uh, even... You know, I, I do have beliefs in an afterlife and uh, God and those kind of things. But even if none of that existed and there was no afterlife or nothing, uh, I would still be extremely stoked. So, uh, yeah, just uh, a wrap and thoughts to consider. Uh, nothing very serious. <laughs>